Howdy friends, Kyle here saying from a 2020 Robalo 202EX. Uh, this is part of their Explorer series and it's designed to really meet the needs of, uh, of an entire family. So uh, for the fishermen in the family, this boat is amazing. Tournament style fishing boat. But for those who like to lounge, who like to tube, who like to ski, this boat has it all. It can do everything. So the Explorer series has been extremely popular for us here. So what we're going to do is take you on a quick virtual walkthrough of this boat and give you kind of a picture of what this thing can really do. So starting at the front here, you're going to see, first of all, a deep V haul, 18 degree dead, dead rise. So out in West Michigan here where we have some big inland lakes, we got Lake Michigan to contend with. This boat will absolutely eat it up. It'll tear it up on any of the snottiest days out there where it's choppy and just it's hard to deal with. This boat won't be upset in the littlest by the conditions out here in West Michigan. So deep V hull, really big, tall gunnels, lots of dead rise here. So this boat sits up out of the water, tall, proud, keeps you dry, can stay on the lake all day, no matter how windy it is. Stainless steel rub rail, beautiful Rabalo embossed uh, cleats here. And so oversized cleats, that's one thing I'll stress here is that you can tie a dock line. And if you wanna uh, tie up next to a friend with some bumpers or buoy there, this is great. These cleats are big enough to do that. But stainless steel everywhere. Now, these boats are designed and made down in Georgia, and they're primarily designed for saltwater climates. So this boat is overbuilt for Michigan weathers and boaters because this thing is designed for salt water, uh, all high quality, 316, stainless steel everywhere, and just built to take the elements. Gorgeous Ravala logo here with the fish hook on it. But we did this boat in classic white just to really kind of throw it back to what old center consoles used to look like, but with all the fresh design, the lines that Ravalo brings today on the 202 EX Explorer. All right, stand at the back of the boat, and this is where all our competitors, this is the view they get, because Roballo is number one in the entire world, number one center console manufacturer. And so this is the view our competitors get to see as we blaze on by them. But now, from the back of the boat, this thing is really, really well designed here. We've got a beautiful telescoping ladder here. This is stainless steel up and out of the water. So uh, for those days where you're tubing, skiing, hanging out of the sandbar, this is great. Gives you a great space to get in and out of the boat. And one of the things I love about this Explorer series is there is room in the back to navigate and move around. You can see where the engine pod is here. Uh, they did a great job of giving you space when you load and unload on this boat. So if you got to imagine being at a dock, uh, this is great. So jumping in and out of the boat here, they did a good job of far planning for this boat to not just be a fishing boat, but something you're going to be uh, using as a pleasure boat as well. We've equipped this model with the 150 Yamaha. Now, you can get it with a 200, but we've been stocking them with the 150. And let me just tell you, the 150 is iconic. This motor is by far the number one selling motor that Yamaha manufactures, has been for a number of years, and it absolutely pushes this boat through all the elements and does function really well, performs well when you're tubing and skiing as well. Okay, here's the signature piece of the EX series, and it is this beautiful bench sheet in the back here. And so again, this is a crossover, a boat that you can tournament fish in or spend the day lounging, relaxing, tubing, skiing. It, this thing can do it all. I love how comfortable this seat is. It doesn't just look good in the brochure, but in the real world, this is super duper comfortable. I love it here. Now, the vinyls. Let me just talk about these for a second. Uh, Robalo has found the highest quality vinyl. This is a Naga hide. Uh, you can see the use of triple stitching, all the different types of materials they're using here. Uh, just underneath these Naga hide vinyls is a flow through foam. So uh, if this boat gets caught in a storm or it gets wet, all that foam, it won't be saturated in water, it'll flow through and then evaporate and these vinyls will stay looking beautiful like this for many, many years. So great job, love the, uh, the use of such high quality products in this boat. Let me just elaborate that on, on it for just another second here. The vinyls are incredibly important. So as you're shopping, as you're competitively shopping, don't be afraid to ask what kind of vinyls, what, what quality of vinyls, how their seats are made because this is the hardest wear surface in the entire boat, right? This is gonna get more exposure, more wear and tear than any other surface in the boat. And so why shouldn't it be top of the line, highest quality, uh, where they put the most thought and effort and concern into. So great job again with the vinyls. This is going to last for years and years to come. Now, 
beneath these seats here, hidden, are all the things that the tournament fishermen are going to be looking for. You got your five gallon bucket. And so this iconic, you can easily splash this boat down, clean it up in just a matter of moments here. Live well. And again, not giving up any of the features that fishermen really want. Huge live well here. Love that these uh, these hinges here, friction hinges, keep things open so that you can hands-free get in and out of your storage compartments and your live well. Lots of storage here and lots of space to work in the bilge. Now look at this. Now this traditionally is a very difficult place to get into, to work on, to troubleshoot, or to just get access to. Well, Bob does a great job knowing that a lot of people that like to do their own maintenance, uh, maybe they're going to be add-ons down the road, and bilges are tough places to work. But not with the Robalo. They do a great job of giving you access into these traditionally tight spaces. All right, now let's talk about some of the nuances of this boat. So starting with just how deep this boat is. Again, 20 feet, 7 inches, 8 foot 4 wide. Uh, this boat is really big given its dimensions on paper. It really is huge. Now, if you stand up here, you'll see that these gunnels are nice and tall. So when you're, when you're fighting fish, you've got that leverage uh, aided by this beautiful stainless steel tow rail. So this is a great job, great design here. You're not going to see this on a lot of boats in this category, but you got the tow rail here. You've got these gunnels. They're perfectly placed. Beautiful Naga hide vinyls here. It's padded, very comfortable and designed for the tournament fishermen. So rod holders, I love that. Rod holders here, midship and in the aft. Cup holders for those people who just watching all the fish being caught. But look at the detail here. I, I love this. You look at the sea decking on the wall here. Now this is rod storage, but you've got sea decking, right? And this elastic bungee to hold your rods in place, but the reels now aren't gonna get damaged on a day where it's rough uh, on your way to the fishing hole. So love this design. And again, just all the nuanced details the Rabalo engineers into this Explorer series. Now, captain's area here. This is great design. Lots of space for those people who are taller. This is a, a really, I, I got a customer who's actually six foot three. He has no problem moving around underneath this T-top. But great job here with the ergonomics and the overall design here of this T-top. We did this one in the anodized aluminum. So beautiful finish on this boat. Gives it that, that classic look to go along with the white hull. Looking at the dash here, we did the upgraded stainless steel wheel with the, uh, the turning knob. Love that. This is tilt, so it gives you a lot of different positions. So whether you're leaning on the leaning post or sitting up on it, you've got multiple positions to drive the boat. Now, a couple things ergonomically that I want to point out. I just love, they, they put the throttle on the, on, the, on the starboard side of the boat here. So, so on this side, they did that on purpose. And I see many center console manufacturers will put the throttle in the middle of the boat, uh, which is fine until you start to get people in this area here. And then it becomes cumbersome. Uh, you're bumping elbows with somebody trying to not only steer the boat, but use the throttle. And in some cases, that throttle is so close to the, the person, the passenger side here, that they're bumping it with their knee or their body as they're moving in and out of the space. So great design. They did that on purpose to give you the most amount of space here at the helm station. Uh, we brought this one in. It does have the Clarion stereo system here. So on the days that you're just relaxing, great stereo system. It is Bluetooth. We did not put a, uh, a GPS or chart plotter fish finder in this unit. Uh, we left this one blank, uh, customer discretion. So uh, you might want something basic or you want, might want something a little bit more elaborate here, but you do have the flexibility with this one. Lots of room. We've uh, see nine inch screens go in here, no problem at all. This also has uh, the compass built into it, that's standard equipment, and in these convenient areas to put your cell phone or your wallet. And notice they even have drains in them as well. So again, no detail left unturned here. For the passenger on this side, you've got a stainless steel grab handle. And if you look down below, they've also engineered a beautiful place for your feet to rest uh, while you're underway. Now I'll sneak around to this side. Battery on off switch. Now this is traditionally where most manufacturers absolutely muff it. They stuff it into some space and you almost have to have like a chart to remember where the battery on off switch is in the boat. Well, in the Explorer series, it's very easy. Look, open this door and you can not only put other things in here, uh, registrations, wallet, cell phone keys, but you have your battery on off switch. Love the design. Love how everything is so well thought out here in the cockpit. 
of the 202 Explorer. Okay, another area of the boat I want to make a big deal about is the head. Now, many manufacturers just get this wrong. They're too lazy to engineer it the right way, but Revolo, right from scratch, they just did it the right way. So the head door should be in the front. Not always the, not always the case when you look around and you shop around other brands, but this head door being in the front allows it to open up extra wide, right? Because you're going to get in and out of there. So many manufacturers try and shoehorn a door here into the side, making it very difficult to kind of wedge yourself down in there. It also makes for a goofy setup here at the console. So this gives Raval a lot of flexibility in not only how you enter this, but also how they design this entire space here. But big, large, spacious head area. So I'm just gonna jump down in here just so you can see. Easy to get into, right? Lots of space to move around. And they actually do use it well too because you've got storage spaces for your, this is for your cocktail table up front. And uh, your table is actually stowed away really nicely beside the head there. So great job in engineering, not only a space that's functional, but also has integrated into it storage spaces for the table leg, right? And the table itself down in the head. Okay, it's 80 degrees and today's the day you're just gonna relax, right? You're gonna go to the island, you're gonna raft up next to your friends and lounge. So this is what makes this boat so special. It's this area up front and how easily it transforms into a day lounger. You got beautiful seating here, so comfortable with these beautiful backrests built in here, these combing panels that are soft to the touch, and then stainless steel grab handles, stainless steel uh, cup holders. You have your stereo up here. You have your table base and table mount for when it's time for cocktails or food or, or you name it, you've got the access to all of those creature comforts that you find in a luxurious bow rider. Now, let's just say for instance, it's time to go fishing, this boat transforms equally as quickly into a fishing boat. So we take these, uh, snap these seat bases up, and then look how quickly this backrest comes out, up and out like that, and just as quickly as it was a day lounger, now you've got the tournament fishing boat that you bought this thing for, and it functions well. Check this out, you've got these fish boxes here, which is great. Look at the size of those. Stainless steel gas assist rams here. Diamond tread everywhere. So this boat is easy to move around. And look at the casting deck. You've got so much space here. And let me just tell you, this is awesome because you have two levels to this. And you've got this level, which is easy to kind of walk around. And again, not only are these combing panels great for the days that you're just lounging, catching the sun, but it's also when you're out catching fish as well. So you can lean up against these combing panels comfortably flight fish, walk around the boat. And then speaking of that, look at the size of these gunnels. You've got so much space to walk around this boat, step up here and easily cruise the perimeter of this boat safely and effectively. Now, something else I want you to notice is the size of this anchor storage locker and just how easy you get all your anchor, your line and your chain in there. Uh, you can very easily pin that anchor down to give you a great anchor storage locker here. So, I say that about wraps it up. So if you have any more questions about the Rabalo Explorer series, uh, reach out to us, 231-943-0333, or check us out on the web virtually anytime at www.grandbaymarine.com. We'll see you soon.